Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm excited to share with you our favorite toddler book for character building. So these are books that I read to my children to talk to them about some values that are really important to our family like kindness and tolerance and compassion uh, but also that I use to teach them to have a growth mindset meaning that they will see mistakes and setbacks as learning opportunities and that they will be looking forward to taking on new challenges and and, you know improving and developing themselves um, but also these are books that my children generally enjoy reading so these are really good reads um, anyway so you know it's a win-win situation here so I'm excited to show them to you this is an open collaboration hosted by the channel three sweetie birds which is a channel all about homeschooling so I will be linking her channel in the description box below if you want to go and have a look and if you're new to my channel welcome my name is Soraya I'm a mother of two beautiful children and here on this channel I'm all about mindful parenting children empowerment and social emotional learning. So the first couple of books that I want to show you are all about developing that growth mindset which is something that is so important to me. I really want my children to see mistakes and setbacks as learning opportunities rather than something that will completely bring them down and then they don't even want to try anymore because they are so disappointed with themselves or they are completely lost um, their sense of self-confidence because of whatever mistake or setbacks they have faced before. And so these books are great to talk about that. You know, I have a preschooler and I have found that increasingly over the last couple of months when we are doing our lessons and she's frustrated because she can't do something or she's finding something a little bit hard, um, then she's very close to giving up. And so I've really invested in getting a couple of books that are all about growth mindset to help her overcome this. And I have seen ever since we've started reading those books regularly and talking about those books and having those conversations together that it's really helped her to see that you know difficulty and you know struggle is not something that you should run away from that it is part of learning and of you know getting better at something so the first book can really work for even very young children and it's a very sweet story and it's called Giraffes Can't Dance. Of course, all of the books I show you are going to be linked in the description box below. Uh, but yeah, this is the story of Gerald the giraffe who goes to the jungle dance and all of the other animals know how to dance really well. Um, but giraffes don't normally dance, giraffes can't really dance and so Gerald is really clumsy and and when he walks onto the dance floor before he even gets to try the other animals start to make fun of him telling him that he's gonna make a fool of himself and so he's very sad and disappointed and just walks away but then later on he finds out that if you find the perfect music for you that works with your own abilities that actually you can do amazing things and he is able to dance it's just a different style than what the other animals were doing and so it's a lovely little story it's very accessible and it's a very great way to get started even with a very young child so you know as soon as they're like two years old and they are already starting to get frustrated with things that they can't do, um, this is a really good book to start talking about it because this is accessible even for very very young children because they're such a lovely story. The next book I love and it's called Beautiful Oops. Uh, it's such an amazing book. I will insert cl clips of the book itself anyway so that you can see but it's basically all of the things that you can do from starting from something that may look at first like a mistake. So like a drop of ink on the paper or a little tear in your paper and how you can transform this into something different. So how you can turn this oops moment, this little mistake that you have made into something that is just as amazing and creative and interesting. Um, so I really, really love the idea behind this book. It's so interactive because there are so many different textures, um, so many um, little things that you can flip uh, to look underneath. So it's just a really really cool book. It's so interesting. Even very young children will enjoy reading this book because you know because of how interactive it is. So I highly highly recommend it. Now my third recommendation still about having a growth mindset is by one of our favorite children's book author Todd Parr and it's it's okay to make mistakes 
We love that book. My son, who's 18 months old, loves that book. My daughter, who is in preschool, loves that book. The pictures are so bright and colorful. It's very accessible. And it's all about all of the different sorts of mistakes that we can make and that children this age can make. You know, like mixing up their socks and putting the wrong sock on or spilling something on the floor or getting an answer wrong at school or something like that. How it's all okay and we are all different and it's totally fine and it's totally fine to do things slightly differently um, it doesn't necessarily have to be seen as a mistake so I really really like this book and my toddler really enjoys it and I highly recommend it to talk about all of these little things that we sometimes get wrong and it's totally fine the next book that I want to show you is this one, I Can Do Hard Things by uh, Gabby Garcia. This is a lovely, lovely book and it's all about positive affirmation for children. Um, this will work for a preschooler but also with slightly older children. So if your child is five, six, this will also be great for them, even probably seven. You can probably um, still benefit from that because these are all positive affirmations. And positive affirmations are statements that we say about ourselves that are supportive, encouraging or motivating. And so these are all things, you know, these, most of these sentences on this page start with I can. This is what I can do, you know. I will show you some of the pages so that you can see. I can feel all my feelings. I can ask for help. I can try again rather than give up. I can believe in myself. And so I think it's really powerful to read those positive affirmations with your child. Um, I know that I use positive affirmations a lot with my children, especially with my preschooler. My son, he's still a little bit young for that. But with my preschooler, I get her to repeat positive affirmations um, after me. And I think that these are really helpful and they have a very positive impact of ch on children. So I highly recommend this book. The next book is one that my toddler and I really love. My toddler always brings this book to me to read it together. And it's called I Am Enough by Grace Byers. Um, this is a really, really good book and it touches upon so many different things from perseverance to tolerance to appreciating diversity and that we are all different and that we may sometimes see things differently and we may look different, but that if we work together, we can create a really beautiful world um, and so this is a really really lovely book I love it I highly recommend it um, and again it touches upon so many things so there's so much room for discussion with your child while reading this book the next book is one of our favorite my toddler loves this book and we read it all the time and she brings it into her bed at night to sleep with this book by herself all the time because she loves to look at books after I put her to bed um, in the evening and so this is one of her favorites and it's called Kind. I love the idea behind this book because um, it's a book that um, is also you also um, donate to charity when you buy this book because 50p from each sale of this book goes to a charity organization called 3Ps that supports refugees and so it's a book about kindness and compassion um, and tolerance and so I love all of the values that are talked about in this book um, it's all about how we can be kind, how we can be welcoming to people who are different and who are new to our neighborhood, um, how we can make space for others um, who may need help or who may need a new home, um, and how we can just be mindful about others on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, um, if somebody is really struggling, maybe we can let them go in front of us in the queue or, you know, things like that. How we can show acts on, of kindness each and every day. And so I I love that this book gives some very concrete examples about acts of kindness that all of us can do every day um, and I think it's lovely. I love the idea of this book. I love that some of the money from this book goes to charity. Um, I love that it's a collaboration with 38 different illustrators who work together to create this book. So each one of the pages of this book is illustrated by a different illustrator. So I really, really like this book and most importantly, my toddler loves this book and it's a great opportunity to talk about some values that are so important to us, which are tolerance, compassion and kindness. 
And the last book I want to show you is also on a topic that is very dear to me and that I really want to sensitize my children about it and it's how we can take care of the planet and care for the environment. And so it's called Clean Up and it's by Nathan Bryan. Um, there's a series, there's two books in that series, there's also Look Up, which we also really really like, but since this is a video about character building, I thought I would show you this one, uh, which my toddler really enjoys, and it's really about how, you know, throwing stuff um, in the ocean or on the beach really pollutes and hurts the wildlife, um, and how we can very easily make sure that we throw um, our, you know, package, food packaging or whatever we need to throw away, we can throw it in the bins to make sure that it doesn't hurt the planet and it doesn't hurt the wildlife. So I love the idea. I also love that it shows this little girl taking action and cleaning up the beach um, on the island where her grandparents live so that she can protect the wildlife. And it shows my children that not only can you make sure that you yourself don't pollute, you can also take action, you know, to clean up the mess um, that people have made. So I highly recommend this book if this is a topic that also is important to your family and something that you want to transmit to your children. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!